Jeffrey said they call you the Tasmanian devil. What do you think of that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what Brick calls me sometimes. Yeah, it's just, I think uh, everybody, we go out there and play fast, you know. I just, my body bend a little different. That's why they say that. But we all moving fast, getting out of the stack, playing hard. So we a whole bunch of Tasmanian devils. I know your thing was always kind of your motor growing up. Um, but how have you improved as far as skill, technique? And, you know, you, you've always had the explosiveness and the, the motor. But. Yeah, well, you know, Brick, he been in the game for so long. As far as technique, he been in the, in the league, national championship team. So, like, he teaching us the technique we need to be successful. And then PG as well, he he's a pass rush guru. So I think throughout the summer, we've been working a lot. Like everyone been working a lot of PG's drills and with PG. And so we've been working on developing our pass rush, all that stuff. And then with break, it's been more of the uh, technique, tips to the game, and then uh, run game. What are the advantages of not being six foot five, being about six foot? Uh, you get low leverage on a lot of people, you know, like six, seven tackle come block down. You already lower than him. You just got to stand your ground. Um, yeah, that's that's really the main thing. The leverage. That's the main thing. Maybe I don't get tired so much. I ain't as big. <laughs> How valuable is the continuity? Where there's been a lot of portal guys at other positions and such, but you have a lot of the same guys back in your position. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Um, yeah, we had a few people transfer out, um, a few people graduate, you know, but yeah, like you said, our room's mostly the same. And it's nice because, you know, we just still building that brotherhood, even um, like the Marge, both the Joes, uh, Cole, we've been here since, um, what, three years ago, even before the staff. So that's that's like a close bond with all them boys. And even the new ones, you know, they all mixing in real well, Spider, all them boys. It's a close unit. How do you and Cole complement each other? Man, Cole the bruiser, I say I'm the uh, I'm the speed shit, yeah. Cole, um, you know, he you've seen him. Big, strong, mountain of a man. He'll drive anybody off the ball. I don't think there's anyone in the country who can mess with Cole. Uh, me, I'm not so much of a bruise. I'll come in, uh, work, work a move before I bull rush. How's your career progressed where, you know, a couple years ago you're playing in the bowl game and not getting a lot of reps. Last year you get a little bit more, and now it seems like you're gonna be, you know, in the rotation here quite a bit. Um, you know, just working with Coach Rowe, uh, Coach Brick, uh, PG, even Coach Kane, in the unit meetings. Uh, I think I just been able to develop my game since I've been here. Like you said, I came with some things I had good about my game and some things I needed to work on. I feel like being here has helped me improve on what I had and build up what I didn't have. And Brick and PG been a big part of that for me. And even the other guys in the room, we all teach each other. I mean, were you surprised to be this successful, Mo? I mean, you were going to go to Arkansas State. No, I'm not surprised. I feel like I knew what I, I always knew what I could do. Um, that's why I, when I got this Purdue opportunity, that's why I wanted to take it, just to go show what I can do and prove myself right. It wasn't about proving other people wrong. I wanted to prove myself right. Anything else? You got a prediction on the Red Devils this year? The Red Devils? Man, I heard some good things. I heard some good things. State championship. <laughs> Coach Fry, you heard it here first. State championship. <laughs>